All right, let's pass that test that we just created so that we can handle trying to view users that don't exist. Uh, in order to do that, let's first run our Rails server so we can remind ourselves what happens uh, when we try to make that illegal access. So let's go to users and try to access ID number one. And you'll see here that there is an exception that's thrown, the active record record not found exception. And so that's what we need to do is we need to catch that exception ourselves. So if we go into our controller, what we're going to do is right here, we're going to do the rescue. And our test says that we want to see our redirect to the user's path. So let's do that. So let's save that and try to reload this page here. And now we get thrown to this list of users, which is exactly what we said we wanted. And let's double check to see that our tests pass there. But while that's going on, you should point out that this probably is not the full behavior that we want. We probably want to add one more test in here because we have no indication here that there was a failure, that something went wrong. And if I was expecting to see a specific user and all of a sudden I see a listing of users, that is not really that helpful. So uh, we come back here, we see that all our tests are passed. So let's write a, a new test that adds that feature real quick. So if we go back into our user path, now we can't do a normal request uh, type. We, we need to see what the results of, of that um, redirect are because we want to see what the page looks like when we do the get, we get sent to redirect somewhere else and what shows up on the screen. So we're going to do a little internal here and we're going to say follow the redirect. And in this case, we're going to go back to our normal capybara, and we're going to visit that same user path. And, but now, what we should do is we should um, have some content on the page. And I don't want to be too detailed with this error message. Um, I want to just be able to say something like unable or something that 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 and the nice thing is if we look for unable and there's other text around there that's more conclusive that's probably good enough uh, maybe we should make this um, a have alert and the text will be unable right because we created that have alert and it should be um, in this case just like we had a welcome message here we had have alert with a text being welcome. So let's go back here and this is not a good thing so let's make this a danger alert. And then we close off that it and we can close off that describe here. So now what we're saying is uh, if we go there we expect to be redirected and if we follow through on that redirecting we want to have some sort of danger alert. Um, so let's make sure that our test fails there and we already know or should know how to to pass this really quickly because it's a one line change and good our danger failed it's not there if we go back to our user controller we're just going to add a little flash message here in our, our danger and say something like enable to find user and um, maybe if we don't like that message we can update our test appropriately maybe we just look for a danger message and we don't care what the the text is we just need to, to see that our test pass and if we uh, start our server again, we will see what the result uh, of doing this. So if we try to go to some non-existent user here, now we get that
danger message right here. So we, we have a, a much better user interface in case someone tries to access a user that doesn't exist.